I'm going to start off on this hair. Taking my flat iron from Duval, I am going to be flat ironing my natural hair to blend with this wig that I made with my hair that I got from Eunice Hair, or I think it's Eunice Hair. So yeah, as you can see, my hair blends like freaking perfectly. It's crazy. And it only takes like one pass with the flat iron, so I really like that. I think I had it on about 410, so yeah, the temperature wasn't even that high either. <laughs> So now that I've got that done with, I'm going to be taking my Tresemme heat tamer spray and my brush and I'm just going to be brushing all that through and I'm going to take my Duval curling wand and this is a big one, like this is the biggest curling wand that I freaking have. I'm going to uh, curl my hair because I just felt like it, I felt like being a little extra, taking a little bit of time to look a little decent but you see how pretty that curl is like I love it and then it's just like it makes it look so much better because of the curl I mean not the curl but because of the color of the hair like it's so freaking pretty but basically all I'm doing is I'm taking the curling wand and then I'm taking my hair and curling my hair towards my face and I'm basically just gonna be doing that all the way up until I get to the top and I only have to hold the uh, hair on this curling wand for about 10 seconds. So yeah, the hair curls so easy. Like, I absolutely love it. Believe it or not, I didn't even have to color this hair. Like, this is how the hair came naturally colored. And I was super shocked by how, like natural and like how good the blend is because a lot of times when you get hair that's pre-dyed the ombre is like super like abrupt and like I don't know what's the proper word but it just doesn't look right like this one like fades like really nicely and I really do like that and I like the fact that the blonde goes kind of like high so yeah it's just super cute and it's like the perfect blonde so I love it but yeah, basically I just made myself a U-part uh, wig like I usually do and then I added the clips. With this I had four bundles and the length 22, 24, 24, and 20. So yeah, I have the longest ones on the bottom, the shortest ones on the top obviously. And you see how well it blends. Like I thought it was going to be weird with the different lengths, but it looks like super nice so I really love it. Top, I'm basically just gonna keep doing the exact same thing which is just taking my curling wand and curling my hair forward but then when I get to the front I'm gonna leave a little piece out because I'm gonna curl that part with my flat iron and here's how it looks with this side fully curled like I love how shiny the hair is and this literally took me probably like 10 minutes so it's gonna take me another 10 minutes to do the other side like look at that difference it's so pretty so yeah, basically I just cut out all the rest because I was pretty much doing the exact same thing I did on the other side, but now I'm to the top, so I'm just going to keep going basically with the same thing, just taking my hair and curling it forward and then holding it on the iron for about 10 seconds because that's pretty much all that you need since I had my iron set to about 400. <laughs> Now I'm going to curl my bang, basically I'm just going to brush it out and then take my flat iron and curl that section away from my face. All I've got to say is, it's so push your girl, all the things I do to you, I make your goal of my name, my that's who it belongs to you. And that's the look. Now I'm just going to take and do the exact same thing on the other side. And on this side too, I'm just going to be curling it away from my face.
Now for my favorite part, the edges. So I have my Eco Styler Gel, my little scarf, and my toothbrush. Basically, I'm just gonna be working my baby hairs like I usually do, doing a little swoop or whatever. It's not that difficult. And it doesn't really take that much work or effort or gel. So yeah, I love it. Now to make sure everything stays in place, I'm just going to take my scarf and wrap it around the edges of my hair so that they will lay down and be smooth when I'm all done with my makeup. And here's pretty much the finished look of my hair. I freaking love it. So now I can move on and do my makeup. Using my Peak Cosmetics palette, I will be doing my eyeshadow today. First, I'm going to take this light brown color and sweep that across my crease. If you're interested in any of these products, you can find them down below in the description box. And now I'm going to take a light eyeshadow because I want to do a cut crease. I mean, not a light eyeshadow, but a light concealer. And I'm just going to take that and cut my crease out. This seriously took a while for me to do because it's so hard to cut my crease since my lids are like hooded. But yeah, I feel like I worked it out as good as I could. But yeah, that's why it's taken me a little while to do it. Now, finally moving back to the eyeshadow, I am going to be applying this super pretty pink color and it stood out to me immediately because it's like a really like kind of bright pink and it has gold flecks in it which I thought was super pretty. But yeah, it takes a little bit of a second to build up the color with this so I was on this for a while. But yeah, I just applied that to my lid and then now I'm taking like this pearly white color and putting that in my inner corner. Now I'm going to take this black and I'm going to lightly put that on the outside because I don't want it to be too pigmented. I just want it to deepen that crease a little bit and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend that out. Now taking my favorite eyeliner ever, which happens to be $3 at Walmart. It is the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. And basically I'm just going to do a winged cat eye on both sides. Now onto the lips, I'm going to be taking this Bite Cosmetics lip liner. I will have the color down below in the description box and I'm just going to be lining the outside of my lips. I do like to overline my lips a little bit but not too crazy because I don't want to be looking like I just smeared everything everywhere. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I don't want the harsh line to be there so I'm just going to take this flat brush and kind of blend it out to the center of my lips and to make that lip liner a little bit lighter. Now taking this duet lipstick from Peak Cosmetics, I am going to be applying the lipstick which is like this really pretty pretty pink color. I'll have the name down below in the description box because I don't have it with me. But yeah, basically I'm just going to put that not where I put the lip liner, just like in the center of my lips. And then I'm going to take my finger to blend everything out. Now taking the same product and just the lipstick side, which I, I mean the lip gloss side, which I thought was super cool that it comes with the lip gloss too, if you want to make it shiny. So yeah, I decided to go with 
a shiny look today and here is the final product I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had so much fun at the wedding that I went to and yeah I will see you guys in my next one